Hi, I'm Joelle Posey and I'm here with Victoria Harris with the California Wildlife Center. And so today we're actually having donations and benefiting the Wildlife uh, Center. Center. And so can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are telling everyone here today, all the celebrities? Well, we're telling them that we are really the organization in Southern California who can help our native wildlife. All the you know, adorable you, animals that we know and we love and we do, we do want to support. We do, and there's really no other place to take them if they're injured or orphaned. You can't take them to your vet. They don't know what to do. And so we also do all the marine mammal rescue for 27 miles of Malibu coastline. And last wow. year took in uh, over 4,700 animals. And we do it so all with... So you guys are doing a lot of work. We are. We do it with no federal funding, no state funding, and no city funding. So we have a full-time vet, Dr. Tom. He never knows what's going to come in what the door. No, people what? will pull in with a box like this big, and you'll open it up, and it's a sparrow. Or it could be a hawk that's going to, you know, jump out and get you. That would be a little he, but more he's scary. just yeah he's great. We just got the first one of the season. Our orphan fawn came in yesterday, right before I left the center, and we're going to be having our annual open house. We're closed to the public, usually, but one day a year we open to the public and try and sort of get them to reappreciate the wildlife and, and to give them tips on how to coexist. And that is uh, April 27th, noon to four. And information is on our website at cawildlife.org. That's fantastic. So if there's one thing that you would love everyone to take away from today and everything you have explained to them, what would it be? Well, I think you have to treasure all life, but we really have to appreciate what an impact we're making on our wildlife all the time, whether that's throwing trash or plastic bags out, plastic in the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, also, how to keep your pets safe when you live up against an open area. Right. You know, it's not the coyote's fault or the bobcat's fault that it sees something small. It's going to go it's after lunch. it. That's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. And you know, you should have the good sense to keep them in mm -hmm. at night or in a very protected area. And so, one more time, if we want to catch up with you guys online, where should we go? CAWildlife.org or on our Facebook page, CAWildlife.org. Perfect. Okay, so everyone should go check it out. Come to yes. their open house. Appreciate all the animals that they're helping every single year that you don't even see. It's all behind the scenes. Yes. And that's, I think, the hard part, too, is because when it is behind the scenes, people forget. So right. don't forget. Help everyone out because you know that if you saw a poor little wounded animal, you'd want to help and take it to a vet. And, Got to take it and to this, is, this is baby season. So people are going to start to see little baby birds on the ground, and they're going to think they're orphaned. They're bouncing around. They can't right. quite fly yet. They think it's injured. And for the most part, it's not. Okay. Birds learn to fly from the ground up. So it, if in doubt, call the center. Okay. You take a picture, call the center. We'll tell you whether to leave it alone or bring it in. Okay. Sounds perfect. Thank You're you great, so much. Joel. Thank you. <laughs>